I got involved with the project via Sam Thompson. I uh, went to Welbeck Defence Sixth Form College uh, and on from there I'm doing a mechanical engineering degree. I have been involved with aircraft from a quite an early age uh, at Bruntingthorpe Proving Ground and I'm currently helping restore a Jaguar T2 there, uh, which is how I've got my experience on aircraft. I'm hoping to go into the RAF as an engineering officer. I uh, got involved with Black Mike uh, via the management team uh, who asked if anyone had any previous experience on, on vintage aircraft. Uh, I think I'm one of the younger members of the group, but uh, through my experience at Bruntingthorpe, I've managed to get a bit of background on what's going to be involved in the strip. So the goal of the project is essentially to preserve uh, Black Mike. <coughs> this, this stage of the project, we're going to do the strip down, so prepare the aircraft for its move. However, at the moment, we've not got trestles or jacks, so it's primarily stripping panels, uh, loosening it all off and getting ready for phase two, which is going to be the actual aircraft strip. OK, so under here, firstly, we've got Bay 22, uh, which is the front of the wings bar. Uh, there's quite a few, bit of pipe work going over the wing box, so we, we've started to strip all that down, ready to trot the wing down. Move up round here. Got the BLC ducting, uh, so we've had to drop the front flaps and uh, disconnect the, the ducting from the fuselage. Then uh, up over the wing, we have the inner fillet, uh, which again is, is about 20 fastens in there, which we've had to unbolt, and some uh, high shear rivets, which, which we've removed, uh, so we can, again, separate the wing from the fuselage. We've moved around the back. As you can see, we've removed the stabilator, uh, which involved removing the tail cone firstly, and then the stabilator unbolted, as you can see here. And then uh, same again around this side, uh, so identical to, to the side we've been around. It's just a case of mostly removing all the hides. We've had to uh, cut some of the, the looms as there's no no way of disconnecting them, as the aircraft was designed as a throwaway aircraft by, uh, for the US Navy. I think that's more or less it, actually. Thank <laughs> you. 